left side of the pelvis falls forward and orients our pelvis to the right. Rib cage counter rotates back to the left. Because of this position, the left internal obliques are stretched out and transverse abdominis, the ab muscles on the left, are stretched out and they lose power. Your diaphragm loses power on the left side because it's no longer in position to work as a breathing muscle. The right SCM is now positioned to turn on and not shut off because of the position of our neck. When that happens, the right SCM will attempt to help breathe by pulling the rib cage up. to make up for the loss of our left diaphragm. The other issue when it relates to the, the tempo mandibular joint is because the right SCM attaches to the bottom of the temporal bone. Here's your temporal bone. It attaches to the bottom of the temporal bone at the mastoid process. It pulls as it tightens and it stays tight. It can exert a pull that will pull your head on the right side down and forward and that can exert the same pull on your temporal bone. When that happens, the temporal bone, which is the T in the TMJ, goes forward and then pushes the jaw slightly forward on the right. It will also internally rotate the mandible and push it off to the left where it's being pushed forward. In order to relieve yourself of that situation, you have to get, so we're here, you have to get your left zone of acquisition. You have to bring your left ribs and your left pelvis together through special PRI exercises to turn on your external obliques and learn how to breathe in that position with rib expansion so your right SCM doesn't keep kicking in to help you breathe.